replacing the power supply on the Quinonix Horizon Imager. The tools required are a T20, T15, and T10 Torx driver and an ESD grounding strap. We will begin by removing the receive trays and opening the top cover by pressing either of the green latches on the underside of the lid. Remove the left side panel by removing three T20 fasteners. Remove the right hand panel by also removing three T20 fasteners, being careful when you place the assembly aside as it is connected to a flat fold cable. Remove the rear panel by removing four T15 fasteners. Remove the mainboard assembly cover by loosening three T15 fasteners. At the bottom of the mainboard, there are two connectors to be removed for the power supply. Remove the main assembly by removing the T15 screws along the top and one in the back. It is important that the printhead be in the correct position to make repair. The power supply may fail when the printhead is in the down printing position. Rotate the green thumb wheel to rotate the printhead out of the way. The next step is to lower the donor carriage by applying equal pressure on either side and gently pushing it to the bottom of the device. To remove the cable guide, you will remove four T10 fasteners. Lift the cable guide out of the way, being careful not to scratch the printhead. Remove the power cables from the left and right hand side of the printhead. Loosen the two T15 screws on the back of the power supply holding it into position, and also remove the two top T15 fasteners holding the power supply in position from the top. Gently pull the power supply out of the unit, routing the power supply cables between the ducts of the fans. To install a new power supply, slide the power supply into position. Route the power cables between the blower ducts. Reinsert the two T15 screws holding the power supply in place from the back, and likewise insert the two T15 screws holding the power supply in place from the top. Reattach the left and right power cables. The cables are pre-bent to match the correct orientation on the power supply head. Replace the power supply cable bracket carefully, making sure that the grounding clip remains on the top of the cable bracket. Route the cables underneath the center section of the cable bracket, making sure that they fit snugly. Carefully insert the T10 torque screws to keep the bracket in position. Carefully insert all of the T10 Torx screws and when tightening be sure that none of the cables are pinched underneath the bracket and be careful not to apply too much pressure to the screws as they are easy to strip. The next step is to route the power supply cable under the mainboard assembly. Before reattaching the mainboard assembly, make sure the flat fold cable is properly oriented to not interfere with the gear train assembly. Reattach the mainboard assembly, ensuring the rear connector pin is in proper position. Reattach using T15 Torx screws.
connect the two power connections onto the mainboard. Replace the mainboard assembly cover. This is held in place with three T15 Torx screws. Replace the rear cover using four T15 screws. It's important to note that you must put the rear cover on first before you put on the side covers. Put on the left cover and hold it in place with three T20 Torx screws. Reattach the right hand cover using three T20 Torx screws. Turn on the imager and verify proper operation.